Hi, I'm Shayna and you're watching Island Images. Today we're at Gupot y Pescadot, or Festival of Fish. We've got a lot of cultural displays, food, and crafts, and I'm really excited to go check it out. So let's go. We're here with Manny Duenas, president of the Guam Fishermen's Co-op. Manny, can you tell us a little bit about what Gupot y Pescadot is about? Grupo de Pescador is for all the fishermen on the island to understand what's going on in the marine resources. We have everyone down here setting up displays, a lot of art exhibits from the local artisans. And of course, our main focus is our land to the, uh, reef to the deep blue sea project, which means that we're trying to conserve our local reef fish by promoting pelagic fish, which is supposedly more abundant. And all our recipes, our free food that we have served today, hamburgers, they're actually made out of fish, they're fish burgers. Uh, marlin kebabs, and we have a nori roll which is made of bonita tuna. Okay, so what I have here is a tuna burger. I put some mayo and uh, ketchup on it, and then I have some fries. It's kind of messy, but I don't know, it looks really good. Fish, bell peppers. What are they called? Sarong. Sarong. It's a cool uh, glass bise is uh, abstract art. Can you tell me um, how do you go about making these? Like, what what do you use for inspiration? Oh, the team. Uh, I get an idea, then I, I focus on the on the team first, you know, the the subject of the matter, then I work from there. Well, we have a lot of song and dance, a lot of artists performing. We have a lot of carvers, like I said, artisans all from all over the island. We have the farmers here. Truly an island event. This is the second event we sponsor per year, and it always comes out the same. Everybody comes in and participates. We don't charge anybody anything. Can I ride? Yeah. for like a week or two at 100 feet then you go up to like maybe uh, 75 feet of water then you feed it here for like another week then you move it up to 50 feet feed it again so those fish will follow this and they're so used to it already you come up to like 15 feet of water you feed it there and it's easier for you to go down and die wow. or you can corral the fish so do you do it like once a week? Every day. Every day. It's more of a cultural thing for us. It's a contribution to the community, which the Fisherman's Co-op stands for. And traditionally, fishermen throughout the years, the centuries, the decade, the millennium, have always been supporting the community by our resource and that's how we're con contributing to this whole uh, festival right now. So that's all for our show for today. Thank you for watching and tune in for the next Island Images. I just go on.